from this to this. Let's get started. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create this image using the Lightroom mask features, the select sky, select subject, and general masking techniques. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is adjusting the profile. I'm gonna change it to Adobe Landscape. I will be making another video in the not too distant future on the different profiles that are available with Adobe. And I'm really gonna warm up the image. I want this to have impact. So I'm gonna take this to quite a significant one in the early days. I really want to bring out that sky and start to bring out the subject. So that's the temperature adjusted. I'm also gonna increase the exposure a little bit just to really brighten it out. Let's just see, I think that's good. My first area of focus is gonna be the sky. So let's go in and we'll mask the sky. So let's go and select the sky. Adobe Lightroom will do the processing, detect the sky for us. Now, the interesting thing to note is, yes, it's selected the sky, but it's also gone through the trees, which in my mind is absolutely outstanding. So now that we've got our sky selected, let's start to focus on bringing this to the front. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I really want to bring up the clarity on this. So let's start to bring that forward. All right, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna take this quite high. I really want us to have a bit of focus within that. I also want to dehaze. I want us to have a clear outline on the sky. You can see the impact that the dehaze is having, and that's down to the select sky. I'm also gonna oversaturate it slightly. So let's bring that up just a touch. All right, here we go. Now I'm really liking that. We can make minor adjustments at the end, but at the moment, I'm really liking that. So now let's move on to everything that isn't the sky. The easy way to do this is to duplicate the first mask. And then what I'm gonna do is invert it. Now that we have everything but the sky selected, I'm gonna to want to start to balance out the image. So the first thing that I wanna do is really start to bring the colors of this out. So let's just up that just a little bit. I'm gonna to start to change the brightness. I want to start to give it that that kind of painterly effect as if it was a, a work of art. Um, so let's let's bring, let's brine it up. I've got some good colors in there. I just want to brine it up. Let's start looking at some of the shadow detail now. I want to try and bring these out. Yeah, let's just have a look at these blacks. Maybe it's a little bit dark, maybe. About there, just it's starting to look like this could well have been painted right now. Bring that saturation up a little bit more. I think that is starting to match the background. And then the texture let's up the texture a little bit let's see what impact that has give it yeah I think that's really starting to work in in a kind of painterly style manner now the clarity might be a bit harsh let's bring that clarity down just a little bit let's bring it down and the hue right let's just change this I've got fine adjustment set right that's starting to look a lot better but I'm still thinking that the tree needs a little bit more and these trees down here also need a little bit more work. So let's now focus on the tree. What I will do is use the select subject mask. Lightroom will now detect the subject and that should be the tree and that's exactly what it has done. I'm going to increase the exposure because it's a little bit dark, probably about there. And I'm also going to change the hue just to return it. I've got fine adjustment set. So I just want to brighten it up a little bit about there on the hue. One area the image does need more improvement on is these trees here. They're a little bit disconnected, I feel. So I'm gonna use the brush mask. So let's add a new mask brush. So I'm gonna add these. I'm gonna be focused on the trees themselves as much as possible. Um, we might as well bring out the sky in the middle. I'm also gonna start mask this edge at the bottom. So now that we've got the background trees selected, what I really want to do is just drop their exposure down a touch. I think just, just to darken them out there a little bit. Um, I don't want them to be quite so defined as well. So I'm going to drop the clarity just to give them a little bit, just, just so that they're not so clear and defined on the actual image itself. And I'm going to drop the sharpness as well, just to give it a little bit of a blur. I don't think it needs a lot. Let's just 
let's, 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 quite often I would go all the way from left to right just to see where the, the land lies with the effect. But I think just somewhere around there, just to unsharpen it. If I was editing this, I may well take some of these branches out that are quite sharp, but that's not the purpose of today's video. So you've seen there the impact of the various masks. The select sky, inverting that for the main subject as well and the select subject, and also just the brush mask for the trees in the distance. What I want to do as we're approaching our final adjustments is now just to add a vignette and go on to the effects. I just want to add a very subtle vignette. I don't want it. That's way, 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 way too much. Um, so I just want a very subtle vignette. Probably it's too, it's too strong in the top right. So let's just bounce there, I think. Somewhere very subtle on this image. So now that we've made the adjustments using the masks, let's just make some fine adjustments. It's quite red this, so I just want to bring that down just a touch. Bring a bit more blue into the sky, but then maybe just warm the image up using the tint so that it really makes the tree pop now. And that I think is looking significantly better. So let's remind ourselves where we began and how we've ended up. We have started with the image on the left, that's the original raw file, and the image on the right is now the mask adjusted image. Here's our final painterly style image. And let me know what you think in the comments below and any areas for a potential improvement. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon.